All right, joining us now is uh, Blake Neal. He's the head coach of the University of Calgary Dinos. Coach, thanks for joining us today. No problem. All right, and the first thing I want to talk to you about is you had a pretty interesting summer uh, coaching the World uh, Football Championships. Maybe tell us a little bit about that. Well, the, the World Juniors was held in Canton, Ohio during most of July and, uh, or most of June, and, middle of June and July, right? And I, I'm a big believer in, you know, in trying to get Canada and trying to get the universities to showcase their young talent. Uh, when they, when Coach Constantine asked if I'd coach again, I, I, I agreed and I, I took about five of my young kids to it. I thought that it was important that they had that kind of experience and I think they're better players because of it. Excellent. And so, uh, continuing with the off-season theme, you had a pretty good recruiting year, and I think landing one maybe the, the, one of the prize players in uh, your, your quarterback, Lavic. Well, Eric, Eric's a former recruit of mine back from the St. Mary's days, and he, um, you know, he was a, a kid who thought that he wanted to make a change. He called me up in in the middle of the winter and, and asked if he could come and have a look at Calgary. We uh, accepted him with open arms. You know, we were very excited that he would consider coming here. He, um, you know, it, it created a little bit of a stir out east, and, and I'm sorry that that happened. But you know, the kid, the kid is a quality player. We have never had an, an athlete like that on our program since I've been here. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what he can do at that pivotal position. That will certainly help your passing game, and it's easy that uh, he'll be able to hand the ball off to Matt Walter, the Canada West Player of the Year. Well, Matt again is, ha- uh, you know, he's back for his third season. Here's a kid who was. Rookie of the Year in 07, uh, Player of the Year in 08, and is going to be carrying the bulk of the running back, or bulk of the carries for us in 09. And uh, Matt's accepted the responsibility. I think he's a, a much more mature young man, and consequently, you know, we're looking for him for a lot of leadership also. And you've gained some uh, some good recruits this year. I think you you mentioned off camera you had a really good recruiting year, but you also lost some uh, some players due to graduation. So how do you fill those holes? Well, the the toughest thing about being a CIS coach and running a CIS program is backfilling the you know the graduates and the kids who move on to the pro ranks. Uh, two in particular, you know, Dylan Steenberg, and it's always tough losing an old lineman. He uh, he moved on to the Alouettes, was a first round pick. James Green, who is an outstanding athlete for us, is playing special teams for the Argonauts right now. And, you know, we've managed to fill them with young, uh, potentially just outstanding athletes, but at the same time, they're going to have to, you know, go through the the trials and tribulations, much like Dylan and James did. So I'm sure there's going to be stressing moments with those guys replacing some of our quality men. And I guess we're about two and a half hours from kickoff tonight in in, uh, Saskatoon. Uh, How how do you feel going into the opening game of the season? Well, uh, you know, this is a tough place to start the year. You know, uh, my my success here is one win and two losses, you know, combining both St. Mary's and Calgary. And uh, when we won here in 2007, it was a great effort from our team. I'm looking for another outstanding effort and making sure that we're mistake-free, try to execute, and hopefully at the end we'll be in a position to maybe pull off a win here. All right, thanks, Colts, and good luck tonight. Thank you very much.